Hey everybody, Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society here with a special edition of Snack Briefs. I'm here along with cameraman Alex. How's it going? Apparently Heel Will Mahoney couldn't make it today, but we had to get this one out to the people as soon as possible. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, as uncovered by me uh, in viewing the Dinosaur Dracula blog back a couple of weeks ago, Twinkies or rather Hostess, Choco Dials have returned in the form of chocolate-covered Twinkies. You'll see that it still does say Choco Dials up there in the artwork, but that's been reduced quite a bit, and they're uh, really uh, accentuating the Twinkie part of this. If you don't know what Choco Dials are, they were something that was out in mostly the 80s and into the 90s. Uh, it's essentially a chocolate-covered Twinkie. That's really all it is. And... Um, they went away for the most part in the mid-90s, but apparently I just learned that the West Coast has had them pretty much all along. Keeping them secret, God. bastards. Damn West Coast. Anyway, uh, basically, uh, like I said, I learned about these on the Dinosaur Dracula blog. Uh, Matt does a great job over there. You should check him out also on his YouTube Damn, page. On the other side, actually. Thank you. And, uh, okay, yeah, they have a little zipper action there. Uh, I believe Dr. Jess Smith of the SAS was quite the Choco Dial fan. Uh, hopefully this will uh, lead to the resurgence of other Hostess uh, goodies from the past, like the Pudding Pies, or uh, maybe even Choco Bliss. Do you know about Choco Bliss? No, that's a little before my time. Yeah. Alex is a little bit younger than the rest of the SAS uh, main crew uh, by almost about 10 years. And uh, he doesn't know about a lot of the stuff that happened uh, in the 80s and early 90s until he started to form his brain a little more and notice these sort of things. But uh, basically, uh, like I said, it's a chocolate covered Twinkie. For some reason, they decided to make them fun size this time around, which is okay, I guess, because you don't always need to eat tons of uh, sugar, partially hydrogenated oils. And saturated fats. Oh, and lots of saturated fats. Six big grams, 10 milligrams of cholesterol. So they ain't playing around. I'm glad Hostess is back. Also, welcome back, Twinkie the Kid, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, he's been gone. He has been gone since the uh, return of Hostess a few months back. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. I'll go ahead and get the close up for the people. Watch out, though. They are very, very melty. They are a bit melty. <clears throat> I picked these up at Walmart. Light's not so great up front here. You do see it's a very dark looking milk chocolate. Open it up. Not quite as rounded as the Twinkie, but... And you got your cream on the inside, your creamy white junk. And there is Dusty. Apparently she likes the smell of these things. What do you think, Dust? Apparently. She wants a bite. Apparently she does. Here, I'll give you a little bit of the cream. No? Okay. Anyway, they are very melty. I got them on a 95 degree day from a Walmart. And I got them back here as soon as possible. But I think they might have suffered a little meltage. Eh, oh, pretty good. Not too bad. They smell amazing. You'll probably see a brown tail go by here. She's now interested in what we're doing. But let's check them out. Yeah. It hmm. is what it says it is. It's a chocolate covered Twinkie. Yeah. I mean, to me, the first thing is the chocolate. It's that typical hostess sort of... Yep. Not cheap chocolate, because it is cheap, I'm sure, but it's very hard mm -hmm. at the outside, but then it gets really melty very quickly. The same thing that they cover the ho-hos in, and uh, I think this might be a little different than the one they put on top of the cupcakes by a bit. But... Yeah, that's a little, I think, a little thicker mm -hmm. and harder. But to me, the interesting thing is that the sort of sponge cake gets left out Com almost completely. I really didn't notice it very much. Yeah, it's there for texture, it seems, and that's about it. Yeah. The uh, chocolate is dominant, and then the creamy white junk comes through uh, once you're chewing. Yeah, but then that sponge cake just, it really isn't part of the equation anymore. No, not really. And so, you know, when the Twinkie really is the, the sponge cake and the cream, mm -hmm. where is it suddenly gone? Is it still a Twinkie now? I don't know. See, that's, they didn't use to market it as a Twinkie. They used to just be Chocodiles. Right. They decided to go this way with the Twinkie thing, and I guess that's okay since it technically is a sponge cake with cream on the inside. Right. Now, somebody who's had it in a Chocodile back in the day, mm -hmm. is it close to that? It's basically the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it does its own thing. Yeah. But it's really, the fact that it's got this big Twinkie label is a bit weird. Yeah, they've traded out uh, Tr Twinkie the Kid here. They brought him in instead of Chauncey the Crocodile, or the Chocodile, if you will. 
Uh, I guess he was a brown crocodile. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, the Twinkie the Kid was sorely missed. Chocodiles were sorely missed as well. I'm glad they're back, but I'm holding my breath for the Choco Bliss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give these a three-quarter thumbs up because they're really tasty. About three bucks for this box, which isn't a bad price for nine treats. What do you think? I think about two-thirds because I enjoy the chocolate and the cream, but to me, mm -hmm. the sponge cake just it falls out of the equation. So you got two parts out of three, two-thirds. Not too bad. Uh, sorry, uh, Hugh Will Mahoney uh, missed out on this one as well as Dr. Jeff Smith. Also, uh, I promised the Oreo Limeade video today. Uh, and you will see actually both videos today, so hold on to your hats, fans. But I decided to go ahead and run the Choco Dials first. You can have that one, Dusty. Um, anyway, so join the SAS by uh, clicking on the link down below. The Facebook page is where it's at. We are almost up to 250 members strong. Also, follow us on Twitter at Brandon Rick SAS, at a brick in the SAS, hashtag Snack Society. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time, snackers. Bye-bye. Stay hungry.